Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited about my haul to sh that I have to share with y'all today and it is a Super Tarts haul. So this is the first time that I ever ordered from Super Tarts and this is a super super fun company because the majority of their scents are um, inspired by um, or themed around like TV shows and movies and really cool, fun, awesome things like that. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I am a sucker for themed wax. I just jump all over it. So I put in a decently sized order to be able to kind of scope things out and see if I liked it or not. So a few things about this company. Their website is ready to ship. And um, from what I've seen, she normally has a very large amount of stock on there. So, uh, there's only one thing that's kind of a con, but not really. Uh, a lot of her scents are, like I said, they're themed by different things. So you might, um, you have to click on them to find out what the actual scent description is. For example, the, um, PETA scent, I didn't know exactly what it would be. I was assuming it'd probably be bread scented, but I didn't know exactly until I clicked on it. And the same with most of the other ones. She does have the ability to search by scent category on her website though, so if you know that you want like a bakery scent, it will narrow it down for you. But what I did when I went in there, I just looked at all of her products, which was like 50 pages worth, it was a lot, and I uh, really just picked out the ones that I either liked the shows or the movies or they kind of seemed like they might be cool. So probably not the best method, but it worked for me and I got a pretty good variety of scents to try that way. Alright, so let's jump in so that this video is not three hours long. So let's just start with the sample that she sent me. And she sent me the sample Dorothy. Alright, so this is a sample from the Golden Girls. And this is Cactus, Sea Salt, Camu Camu, and Guava. So um, even though the scent, they're named things that you wouldn't necessarily know what the scent is. The scent descriptions are on all the packaging. You might not be able to see it in that one um, because of the lighting. But it is on all the packaging for you, which makes it very easy when you get them home. So this is a purple cube, and the, oh, the actual packaging you probably have some sort of drizzle on it because there's a little drizzly spot right there. This is flor florally, but it's really balanced out by that sea salt. Uh, it's not something that I particularly care for. I don't really like floral scents very much, so I probably will be gifting this to somebody, but it is not too overpowering. Most floral scents I find very overpowering, and that's the reason I don't like them, but I think since this has that cactus and sea salt, it really helps to tone down the overpowering nature. A lot of floral scents make me like start to wheeze and not be able to breathe. And this one doesn't do it. So um, overall, it's pretty nice. I'm not going to melt it. I'm going to gift it, but still a good scent. All right, so I'm just going to start at one side and work my way down the line, and then we'll go to the back row. So the first one we're going to go over is Pita. So this is from The Hunger Games. And the scent description of this is French baguette, butter brickle, and coconut shavings. So also, her clamshells, um, the wax is always decorated in some way, very cute. So it's not just the basic clamshells that you get from a lot of vendors. So this one, you have like gray wax, and then you have brown on top, and you have a little cute baguette pressed into it. So I definitely can pick up the coconut in this, and definitely can pick up um, that bready French baguette scent. I don't know how I feel about this, actually. Um, I think that this is one that I'm definitely going to have to warm and wait to see how I feel. Right now, I'm very iffy on it. But I'm not a huge fan of coconut, so that could be what is throwing me off. Alright, next up we have Saw. So that is, of course, from the movie Saw. 
And the scent description on this is sweet cranberry preserves, buttery pie crust, and smooth vanilla cream. So the actual wax on this one, it's like cream wax, and there's a gray spot in the middle with a big X across it, a few little drops of blood. And then there's these little glitter specks on the back that look like blood. How cute is that? Well, I don't know if blood is cute, but in this case it's glitter, so I think it's cute. So this one is uh, very tart, so it's definitely, you can definitely get those sweet cranberry preserves. And I uh, definitely pick up on the vanilla cream. I'm not smelling the pie crust yet, but I like that one a lot. And I really like this one because it's very, it's tart, but not too tart. I think because she has that pie crust, the vanilla cream, it really brings down the tartness of the cranberry so that it's not overpowering the other scents. Right, next one is Friday the 13th. So this, again, of course, Friday the 13th movie. And the description of this is apricot buttercream, ice cream scoop bread, and red berry currant. Let's pop this wax out. So this wax, it's like gray wax all the way around. And then it is white with just a little bit of what looks like could be blood. Who knows? It's mysterious. So this one, you definitely get the apricot. Or that might actually... You know, I think that's the berry that I'm getting stronger, actually. There's an interesting mix with the apricot and the berry. I've never really smelt that before. And this is actually... When I ordered it, just based on the name, I expected it to be a more, like, homey scent. More heavy on that ice cream scoop, more heavy on the bread. But this is actually a pretty um, refreshing scent. I'm really surprised by that. But I like that a lot. I think I will um, start to melt that one pretty soon. Alright, so next I have The Big Bang. So, of course, The Big Bang TV show is what this one is themed from. And the scent profile is pumpkin pecan waffles, hot toddy, and butter brickle. And I love this one. I love fall scents. Those are my favorite scents of all. So this wax is yellow on the bottom, blue on top, and then you have a red drizzle on top. Very cute. And I don't pick up very much pumpkin, but I pick up a lot of the hot toddy and the butter brickle. Mm, that one's really good. Perfect for fall coming up. The next one I had to get was the Goldbergs. I love the Goldbergs TV show. I watch it all the time. Um, my husband would probably say way too much, but I would, would have gotten the scent no matter what it was. But the scent is oatmeal, scotchies, signature sugar cookie, and caramel drizzle. So the wax is yellow on the bottom, pink on top, and it says hugs across it. Oh. And this one is um, pretty spicy, actually. So that oatmeal really comes through. And that is the main scent I'm getting, is the oatmeal. It's really good. Again, this is a really good fall scent. It might actually even be good to mix with the Big Bang. That could actually be really interesting. So next is the Full House scent. So this one is cookie jar, sweet cream, cotton candy, and marshmallow. And it says, how rude on the top. So Stephanie's famous um, catch line there. So this one is um, heavy on the cotton candy, I think, on the cotton candy and marshmallow. I'm not a huge fan of cotton candy or like blue sugar, pink sugar, those types of scents. So I don't think that this is a scent that I'm going to like very much, which I'm really sad about. But I just think the cotton candy is a little too heavy for me personally. I am going to warm um, one of them though and see how it might change once it is actually warmed up. Uh, the next one is Gamora, which is from the Guardians of the Galaxy collection. 
So this scent description is pink sugar mac apple and ice cream scoop bread. So I was nervous about this one because of the pink sugar. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of that. But the wax really quick it is this pretty purple on the bottom. And then it has a little green spot on top with um, two swords crossing embedded in there. So this one, um, the mac apple is the strongest scent definitely. And that is really all that I get is a mild apple scent. And I love mac apple. I think it's great. Like I said, fall is my go-to. So I love mac apple. I think this scent could be really good to mix with the Big Bang as well. Um, because the Big Bang has that maple pecan waffles and the hot toddy. I think putting this apple in there would make it a really great kind of like apple picking scent. All right, so we are going to go to our second row now and we're going to start with butterbeer. So this is of course inspired by Harry Potter, that famous drink that they all love. And the scent notes of this are sweet butterscotch topped with a dollop of sweet cream. So the wax here is this butterscotchy brown and there's a little dollop of cream colored wax and then there is glitter. I don't know if you can see it, but it is there. It's very cute. So this I'm actually really not a fan of, which I'm really disappointed because uh, I was so excited. I love butterscotch, but I don't know if it's the sweet cream mixed in. I'm just not a fan of this scent. It doesn't really smell true butterscotchy to me. There's something about it that I just don't like. I think it might, it, it must be the sweet cream. But I think this could be um, good to mellow out a more intense scent uh, because it is just kind of a mellow scent, but yeah, I'm not a fan of that. All right, the next one is Suki from the Gilmore Girls. I loved the Gilmore Girls when it was on, so I was very excited when I saw these scents. And this one's description is gingerbread, buttery cake bites, and applesauce buttercream. So the wax is this cream colored wax, and it has a little pink blob there that says, on the verge of blubbering here. All right, so that's really cute. So the strongest note in here that I get is the applesauce buttercream, mainly just the apple. Apple tends to be a very dominant scent, but I do get some of the gingerbread. There's a little bit of spice coming through that I get. So that is really nice, and it's going to be a really good fall scent as well. All right, next up is Lorelei. So the description of Lorelei is coffee, midnight ice cream, and cinnamon donuts. And definitely the coffee, of course. You can always smell coffee if that is in a scent note. And I get a little, um, I'm getting some of the cinnamon as well. So I'm getting that coffee with the cinnamon donuts as well. That is a very good coffee scent. All right, next is fake and bake which I have just heard rave reviews about <clears throat> and since I'm such a big fan of bakery scents I was very excited for this the scent description is zucchini bread signature sugar cookie and sweet cream so the wax is pink on the bottom then this kind of um, tannish color on top with glitter and a little cream drizzle so this is really, really good. It smells like bread that just baked. Um, I've smelled a lot of fresh baked bread fragrances that are very artificial, but this one really smells like something is actually baking. Oh, I really love that. I think that'll be a great year round. Like you want to trick your mother-in-law into thinking that you're a great cook type of fragrance. That one would be good for that. All right. So next um, is Raspberry Peach Sangria. So this one is, I think, the only one I have. Oh, fake and bake. But um, 
it's a rare one that doesn't really have a theme around it, at least not that I'm aware of. Maybe there is. And the um, description is sweet raspberries, Georgia peaches, and Chardonnay. So it is uh, this lovely raspberry color on the bottom, orange on top, and it has a little swirl on top. And there is actually some glitter in there. It's very embedded, so you probably can't see it, but it's in there. And this one, it is literally a raspberry peach sangria. I smell the raspberry, I smell the peach, I smell the Chardonnay. This is exactly how it's described, and it's a very good, uh, refreshing smell. All right, finally, we made it through. Last but not least, we have Tie Me Up. So this is from the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey collection. And this is Vanilla Bean Champagne and Strawberry. So the wax is cream on the bottom, red on top, and it has a little drizzle on the top as well. And this is my favorite scent from the entire order. I love Fizzy Pop. Um, specifically Cherry Fizzy Pop has been my favorite for a while. And this is just like Strawberry Fizzy Pop. You get that carbonation from the champagne, and then the vanilla bean aspect kind of mellows out the strawberry, so it's not like a really harsh fake strawberry smell that you can get sometimes in wax. It smells like a strawberry fizzy pop. That's how I would explain it, and it is amazing. And um, those kind of scents really kind of wake me up, I feel like. I feel like the fizzy pop just gets you going because you can literally smell the carbonation. It's amazing that um, they're able to literally make it feel like there's bubbles in your nose, which is kind of weird sounding, but it it's true. So that was my super tart order. Um, I am very pleased with all of them. There were a few that were a little more mild than I was expecting them to be based on reviews and things that I had read. So I'm hoping when I warm them up, they will really come out and those scents will be much more prominent. But overall, I'm happy with everything. I'm excited to try it all. And I'll be sure to give y'all a review of what they smelled like warmed up later on. So if there's any scents I didn't try from Super Tarts that you think I need to, Leave them below in the comments. Uh, if you liked my videos, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, maybe a share if you feel really, really motivated. But thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.